Hello fam, in the last episode, we learned how how to insert data into our database tables in two ways. Now, in this episode, we are going to learn how we can query, or let me just say, how we can fetch data from our database tables. Okay, so like I said, there are always two ways of doing that when you're dealing with PHP, my admin. So if I do click tutorial and then I click users, this is another way of querying the data. So that's through the UI. So now as a programmer as well, instead of you clicking your database and then you click your database table like this, this is another way of querying. This is another way of querying. You can just simply say comfort, anything with comfort, and then you hit enter. This is another way of querying data, but uh, this is not a programmatic way of doing this. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click SQL. SQL. So here we are going to use a data manipulation statement uh, called select to uh fetch records or to get records from our database table users okay so what i'm going to do here is that uh, i'm going to use uh the select statement so let's so the select statement makes use of this formula select and then table uh, field select field fields fields so it makes select fields And then it makes use of from here table, table name, and then followed by where, and then the condition here, the condition. This is what it makes use of. So you just have to say select you, and then the fields that you want to select, followed by the uh the table uh, the table the table name where you would want to get these fields from and then option and and then with another option which is condition which is a condition which makes use of where close where close okay so let let's get to our let's get to our sql so let's follow that formula so let's say we want to select all the records from uh from us this from our, our database from 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 our users table so you just have to select and then if you want to fetch all the fields or all the columns you just have to say you use an asterisk sign select all select all from and then the database and then the that uh, the database table name select all from users and then bang you close it like that so this what what you are what you are what you are telling our database engine here is that we want to fetch all the records from the users table this one simply means for all all the records sorry for was select all which means we want to fetch all all the fields all the fields from our database so for all the fields so our fields that we have uh, first name, last name, email, gender, phone, and ID here. So here I want to fetch all the fields from all from the users table. So what do you have to do? So if I run there, we have all the, the, here they are. We have first name, last name, email, gender, phone, followed by comf a comfort source, followed by this one for comfort. So this is how we fetch records from uh, the data. This is a, this is a way of getting all the records from the database. If you want to get some records from all the uh, like uh, from the database table, all the records from the database table. I mean, okay, okay. So now, uh, let's say if you would only if you're only interested in querying first name, let's say first name, email, and phone. So what do you have to do? You just have to follow this same formula here by saying select uh, first, select first name, select first name, email, followed by phone from 
users. So select first name, email, phone from users. This tells our database engine to say, okay, here, what we are trying to do is uh, we want to get uh, the, the, uh, the records from the users table here. But if we get those fields, I don't want all, oh, sorry, if we get those records, I don't want all the fields to be listed. We're only interested in first name, email, and phone from the user's table here. So this is what we're trying to do. So if I click go, you see we have first name, email, and phone. That's how it's done. Okay, so now there's also another way of fetching some records, some records with a condition with a condition just like the same way we do it in uh, programming to say okay if name is equals to john and then perform this if age is, is is equals to or greater than 15 perform this we we are also able to do that with sql so here we can just say so let's say we have a condition whereby we want to get we want to fetch the records of a, a user having an email with level zero for a gmail Dot com. How do we do that? So you can just simply say select all from. Uh, so here, if we use all, which means we, we are getting all the fields or all the columns from uh, users, and then we are going to introduce another another clause, which is where where uh, where mm, what's this? where email where email is equals to so where email is equals to and then you, you enclose your email in in a in single quotes since it's a string so we're going to say where email is equals to with levels 04 uh, at gmail.com and then you close it so here what we're trying to do here is that we want to to get or fetch all the records or oh, oh, sorry oh, oh we want to from sorry here what you're trying to say is that you uh, want to select all the fields from users table where email is equals to it level zero for at gmail.com so here what it's doing is that it's getting all those fields but specifically where an email is with level zero for at gmail.com and then we click go so you see it does it has only returned one record. Why has it returned one record here this time? It's because we only have one record with this email address. It has even highlighted. You see? Okay. So there's also another way, another clause which is which is and okay. Let's say there are two conditions that you want. Let's say let's assume that we have two users with uh, an email with level zero for at gmail.com. Now, uh, these these two records, one is a male and the other one is a female. Let's say we have these two records. So how do we how do we achieve that? Let's go. So it can be achieved. It can be achieved by using the same thing. Select or from users where sorry select all from users where where um, email is equals to which levels zero four at at gmail dot com so when you do this so this one is the first the, uh, uh, the first condition and then another condition is that it has to be and email is equals to sorry uh gender let's say gender gender is equals to male so here well we have took all these conditions have to match so the first condition is we are checking where email is equals put level zero for at gmail.com and gender is equals to male so i'm going to copy this and then i am going to run okay you see so these are the two conditions that we are looking for email and gender so they are, they have all matched successfully
and we have gotten only one record so with this and okay let me paste what i got so with this and let's say you're searching for two conditions here you can just simply add another and let's say phone is equals to plus two six zero nine six eight seven nine three eight four three you can keep on adding this and 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 so on and so forth until all the conditions are satisfied and then that's so these three conditions have been met so this is how we query fetch or select data from our database tables see you guys in the next episode cheers